Hi, this is Aaron Stonebeat and in this video I just want to clarify a little bit about the direction, potential differences and current stake in coils under the influence of changing magnetic fields. In some of the previous videos I may or may not have gotten this backwards. Usually it's not of the highest importance when you're wiring up a guitar, but I just want to explain it as clearly as I can. And also it's one of these things that keep amazing me. Here's our trusted coil with just one turn again, and it all comes down to the observation that any system will resist change. Action equals minus reaction. In electromechanics this is known as Lenz's law. An induced current is always in such a direction as to oppose the motion or change causing it. Again, this keeps amazing me and it's also the principle on which most of our modern technological civilization runs. Magnets and coils spinning around each other. Imagine a magnet approaching the coil. The coil will react by generating a magnetic field in the opposite direction using the right hand rule or the corkscrew rule we know that a counterclockwise electric field is needed for this to happen. On the other hand if the magnet retracts and this is more or less what happens when a string vibrates the coil will respond by trying to uphold the magnetic field and the electric field turns around to clockwise. Again, I think it's just wonderful and amazing because no mechanical interaction is involved. It's just electromagnetic fields, exchange of photons. Anyway, I hope this was useful and I hope to see you again. Thank you.